Centuries ago, the country of China had an emperor who lived in a magnificent palace surrounded by a beautiful garden. The emperor's name was Lin Chan, and he was proud of his luxurious home. He spent much of his time collecting all the things of beauty he could find. He wanted to have the best of everything to make his palace the show place of the world. Just beyond the palace grounds, there was a thick forest, but Emperor Lin Chan had never wandered through its winding paths. However, many fishermen, farmers, merchants, and travelers had, and they all stopped to hear the song of a nightingale. It was the most wonderful melody they had ever heard. Even though the palace was greatly admired by everyone, those that heard the nightingale all agreed that its song was the most beautiful thing in all the land. One day, a message was brought to Emperor Lin Chan. It was from another emperor who had visited Lin Chan's country. I enjoyed your beautiful nation, but most of all, I was enchanted by the voice of the nightingale. The nightingale? What nightingale? The king was angry. Others had found something beautiful in his own kingdom that he had not discovered. Find me this nightingale! He roared at his chief minister. The frightened minister had never heard of the wonderful bird, but he asked everyone in the palace. No one had heard of the bird, for they always lived within the courtyards. Finally, one kitchen girl said she knew of the bird, for she had often wandered through the woods gathering berries. She led the minister through many paths until they came to a clearing. There on a tree sat the nightingale, and it started to sing. The minister knew this must be the bird the emperor wanted. Your emperor commands you to appear before him at the palace. The nightingale understood and swelled with pride to think she was to give a command performance. So off she went with the little girl and the minister to Emperor Lin Chang. A special stand had been prepared to receive the bird's concert at the palace. The emperor was anxious to hear the bird's famous voice. He gave the signal to sing, and the nightingale burst forth in beautiful song. The emperor was amazed at the beautiful song. You must stay with me, nightingale, for I am the emperor and must have all things beautiful. The bird was proud to be the royal singer, and she burst forth with song again. Months passed, and the nightingale continued to please Emperor Lin Chan with her song. One day, a mysterious package was brought to the palace along with a note. To the memory of my visit to your kingdom. Ah, a gift from one of my grateful visitors who enjoyed all this beauty. Indeed, it was a rare gift. A mechanical bird covered with beautiful jewels. What a beautiful present. The emperor wound up the spring, and the bird started to sing. It's the song of the nightingale. True, it was an exact copy of the real bird's voice. This delighted Emperor Lin Chan. Now, I not only have the most beautiful song, but the most beautiful bird, and it will sing for me forever. He was so enchanted by this elegant toy that he played it almost continually. Then one day he said, I have two birds. They shall sing me a duet. But when he looked for the real nightingale, she was gone. The emperor was furious. That ungrateful bird has run off. Never allow it in my palace again, for this shall be the royal singer. And so it was that the mechanical bird continued to give out its beautiful song for the pleasure of Lin Chan. The real nightingale had fled the palace with a broken heart, believing the emperor favored the new singing marvel. She sat among the branches as before, 
but her voice was stilled. Years passed, and the emperor listened to his beautiful mechanical bird. When one day... Something had gone wrong. The spring had broken, and the machinery was torn apart. The emperor became excited. Get me all the craftsmen in the kingdom! But, work as they would, the results were always the same. The bird would no longer sing. The emperor Lin Chan became very sad without his beautiful songbird. So unhappy that he fell ill and the doctors could do nothing for him. Lin Chan was dying. The whole kingdom was saddened. Far out in the forest, a beautiful woman stopped near the real nightingale. Many years ago, when I was a little girl, I took you to sing for the emperor. It would bring him great happiness if he could sing once more before he dies. The emperor was very still as the unhappy attendants waited for the end, when suddenly... The nightingale was singing again, as beautiful as ever before. The emperor opened his eyes and strength surged through his whole body. The true nightingale song made Lin Chan well and happy again. The kingdom rejoiced, and the nightingale took her place of honor as the royal singer forever after. <laughs>